Welcome to End the Calm. I'm your host, Georgiana Alexander. Hey guys, welcome back to In the Calm. I'm your host, Georgiana Alexander. You know, I really don't love that I'm your host. How about we say, hey, let's hang out. I'm your guide. I'm your friend. That feels a lot more authentic so we can just settle into that. But welcome back nonetheless. When I was thinking about what I wanted to get into this week with you you know, it's been a hard week and oftentimes I don't share the struggles that I go through, which I am trying to work through and really remember to share those because, you know, if you know your human design and you love that, I'm a 3-5 projector and there's so much value to how many times I fucking got knocked down, taken out, you know, beaten down, all of the things, the experiences beyond the near death or the business experiences, leaping off metaphorical cliffs or actual cliffs. And I forget to share those things. I forget what I'm in the middle of and living. I forget to share with friends and in conversation those moments when literally all I can do is lay on the floor and just stare at a wall because that's honestly the healthiest thing for me to do to let things move and shift in my life. And so I'm like, you know, let's have that conversation. I want to share with you and kind of pull back the curtain, so to speak, of this past week because it's been a doozy. And we're astrologically going through a lot collectively. We're really amping up energy in our world. There's so many shifts and things happening. And so we feel it even if astrologically nothing really feels like it's impacting you. I know for me, I'm Aries rising and have a lot of fire in my chart triple fire actually if we're looking at Vedic and so fuck I have felt the intensity of this Aries full moon and I love it but also it it's a bit painful it's a bit jarring it feels worlds are coming in done new winds are rushing in all at once <laughs> maybe you feel that too and it's totally normal but even if that's not the experience that you're having with your astrology or if you think, oh, I don't know if I really know about that or believe in that, totally cool. Respect that belief system. However, we feel each other so strongly. And so when one or many of us are going through things, it impacts all of us because we do vibrate on a frequency of oneness whether we realize it or not. And I think as the density of our world gets faster and the the energy matter gets faster moving so it gets less dense we're going to feel that more right we're going to realize our oneness and our connectedness and the way that our thoughts emotions feelings and the things that we go through impact one another that's why i thought i really do want to share more of kind of what's happening in my life just if nothing else if it's a validation and like a a uh, high five to you for maybe some element of that is something that you're going through as well and can relate to or maybe gives you permission to say, oh, I'm not feeling it that bad. Lucky for me, you know, that kind of thing. But yeah, so this week has just been a really amazing week, the last like full week, I would say. Um, amazing. So many cool people have entered into my sphere. Great conversations and business things are in motion in great ways. And also just hard, emotional, painful. You know, I felt this deep, deep sadness for reasons that I cannot fully explain. And again, as an emotional projector, that's normal. And that's normal for a lot of us to move through waves of emotion, of shift. You know, even as I was saying, there's been a lot of changes in my world, most of them in the unseen, right? In other, other dimensions, I've been in a lot of change and in my personal life coming to big realizations, which are all amazing and good. But even in those good moments, there's elements of as we let go to make space for new in our life, there's sometimes grief and sadness that, that we kind of don't give ourselves permission to experience. It's like there's almost a feeling like, oh, we should be fine with this. We should feel fine and just process and move through it. And so I've learned to, in these moments of deep emotion, a big shift, and just to pull the veil back a bit further, 
as a CEO, I usually have a lot going on in business. And so my plate is usually full, but I do try to keep an element of space in my days to have time for creative and flow. That's something that's really healthy for me as a projector. And then on that flip side, as a seer and dimensional shaman, there's never a second in my world that I'm not connected in to really universal information and consciousness. And so that's constantly streaming through. I'm constantly getting visions and seeing things with people around me. And I, that may sound overwhelming or it may sound cool. In either case, for me, it's both. But I have learned a lot of tricks to where it doesn't feel so overwhelming, to where I can enjoy the roller coaster of it rather than getting knocked upside the head and and then there are other times when I'm totally knocked on my ass, like I said, and I'm in the floor and I'm just laying there and that's really what the day is going to look like. And all of the above are totally okay. But so a lot of the things that I've learned in my journey of how to process and navigate these moments like where things have been really hard. So for this week, for example, I've just had some really deep, intensive shamanic quantum healing sessions with incredible people, as well as some business meetings on some projects, and also some really fun dinners and planning and meeting people. And we're early in the week, right? And then along with that, huge personal portals have been opening where I feel like I'm misplaced. I'm not yet in a new reality, but I've not fully left the old as well as I've been feeling a lot of old ancestral things healing and a lot of things in our earth and our land and a lot of things overseas with many people there. And so it's all felt a mixed bag of exciting and beautiful and loving and good and also sadness and overwhelm and just um, a lot to kind of move through in my body. And so when I go through these periods, I've learned to honor my need for rest, sleeping extra and really prioritizing that. Every time something really uncomfortable comes up now for me, like literally physically, I'll feel like I'm sick, like I'm physically sick, but it's not that I'm ill with anything. It's not a bug. It's just energy moving through. It's like the the feeling of old frequencies and old emotions and things like that that are very visceral in my body and feel like so yuck to me because they're so misplaced that I get physically ill. And, you know, you might crinkle up your nose. I also sometimes smell energy and it's just like, oh, that's gross. But it's not that it's gross energy. It just, it's no longer needed, right? So it's clearing. And whether you're aware of this in your life or whether this is a totally new conversation or if you're like, no, thanks, not for me. Guys, you're, we're feeling it all together, whether you acknowledge it and know it or not. Like it is happening because we are all experiencing this whole world in a state of different frequencies, constantly changing. And we are energy that we're all picking up on this from each other. And so I think having the conversation of naming how to walk through it is helpful. And I know for me, it's been very helpful the more that I'm like, okay, if the more something feels uncomfortable and wrong and hard and difficult, I just sit and say, wow, thank you for the opportunity to let go of this. I connect in with my highest self and I'm like, okay, I have so much gratitude for this moment. Wow, that meeting wasn't what I expected. Okay, I've got so much gratitude for what I took away from that. It's just one gratitude moment after the other. And it's sort of like, bear and grit your teeth and like, thank you so much. This sucks. But wow, thank you. It's so good, universe. Thank you so much. And I find that it's actually really helpful because it is acknowledging, okay, this is moving and it helps get me out of a place of feeling so much fear and stuck because I don't know about you, but when I suddenly am bombarded by a lot of shift in my life, it's like, that becomes magnetic to a lot of other people's emotions and thoughts that do not align to my natural frequency. So I start picking up on other people's fears 
and imposter syndrome or their blocks or their limiting beliefs. And not that I believe it, obviously, I, I know inside of myself, hey, this isn't for me, but I still feel it so strongly in my body. And I think we do pick up on that. Like if you notice, if you go into a really busy environment or you're maybe somewhere where someone's really arguing, you might notice it more that suddenly you feel like contraction in your physical body or you feel the need to become very guarded. That's been the case for me with certain situations and conversations I was around this week. And I have to keep reminding myself, wait, I don't need to hold on to this. I don't need to contract because it's not mine. But that is sometimes easier said than done, right? So my process of working through the overwhelm and all the different things that we go through is to remember my gratitude for the things that I'm learning. Great. I need to acclimate to stronger boundaries or really remember to reset myself when I'm in public environments. I need to remind myself to take extra rest and really honor the flow for rest that I'm needing instead of what I feel like we naturally do is just push through and push through and push through. And that can have the opposite effect for helping us move through and move into those really exciting new chapters, which I think we're all on the precipice of together, individually. It's here. It's happening for us, right? It's amazing. And so one of my favorite, favorite tools, and I know a lot of you guys know this because I do talk about it in different places, but the fuck it method. And we are going to deep dive into this in another episode as well as I will be having um long overdue masterclass all about the fuck it method. But you guys, I swear by the fuck it method. And so just to kind of give you an overview is like when you get to this place where you feel so stuck, you cannot wiggle your way out of it. That's when you got to just say fuck it. And there's a lot more to that, right? But really what you're doing is naming an intention and you're surrendering so deeply and there's something so badass and fun about just yelling out, fuck it, you know, fine, universe, like, fuck it, you take care of this, fuck it. And it starts to really unlock these portals inside of you and like let everything start moving. So it's sort of like when you can't do anything but lay in the floor, that's when you got to say, fuck it. When you're done fighting yourself and sitting in resistance with yourself and like trying to push through things that you know logically that you can surrender, that's going to be so much easier for you if you just give yourself some rest, give yourself some space. I don't know, go watch a fun movie. I, guilty pleasure, love to watch Hallmark movies or something like that when I'm really overwhelmed, like something where you basically know the ending in the first two seconds of the movie. And that is so fun for my system because I'm like, oh, I can just relax and not think at all or feel anything about this movie. And so those are elements of fuck it, right? Like where you just say enough, I need to just chill the F out. That is like what I've come to this week is really reaching my fuck it moments where I know in every cell of my being that things are working in favor for me because I have the evidence that every other moment in my life that I have felt this way, I know how beautiful and big and expansive it gets on the other side of these moments. And I can sense and see and feel how good some of the elements of my life are right now. And then the elements that are hard or challenging, they're not actually that hard or challenging. They just feel deeply uncomfortable and suffocating and limiting. And I feel like I want to just like, you know, air vomit or something or scream or run away or whatever it is. But that's when it's so beautiful to sit back and take the rest that you need to just let yourself move into next places. You know, just go grab a floaty and head down the river and let yourself get carried away into where it is that you're headed that you want to go. So that's a little bit of behind the scenes of this week for me. How are you feeling? How are you handling things? And also, for those of you that have heard me talk about the fuck it method, how are you utilizing that in your life? Because it's really super fun. And there's nothing like just yelling out, fuck it, in random places 
and through your house if you're by yourself or if you're not by yourself and any circumstance where you feel like you need it. It just has the frequency seeds in it that unlocks so many new portals and pathways and possibility. When you surrender, you get to a place where you just can't take a step forward further in your own kind of resistance, your own mess, your own chaos. And you say, fuck it. And you let go of all of it. And that's when it's like all completely unlocks and sets you open. I have been working on my own fuck it this week and it's feeling so much better and also still hard and still challenging. And all of those places are good. That is how it's meant to feel. We are okay and it's normalized to feel one another. There's something really beautiful about coming together and validating that, that we can have these experiences, that it is normal instead of feeling so defeated and deflated if things aren't just feeling so perfect and on a high note all the time because there is so much beauty and gift in these moments of challenges or even if it's not necessarily a challenge just where things for unknown reasons feel sad or stuck or whatever it's moving you forward as well so I hope that this little tune in moment together has maybe given you some permission to unlock I know it does for me and I don't again as I've said often share the moments that I'm going through on the day to day, but I'm going to be more mindful to be vulnerable and open with you about that because I know I love that with others. I value it. And there's a lot of goodness when we come together, a lot of shift when we can step into our awareness and also understanding our oneness and our collective directions, I think. I'm glad that you're here. My friend, thank you for being here. And reach out and let me know what feels good to you, what challenges you're reaching and hitting walls with, and how you're allowing yourself the time and space to reset, rest, and surrender and say fuck it. All right, all my love, I will see you next week.